The man police say is the South Hill rapist took the stand today in his civil commitment trial. Kevin Coe was grilled by prosecutors who want him locked up in a treatment center for the rest of his life. KXLY4's Eric Loney listened to his testimony, joins us from the courthouse tonight. Eric? Now, prosecutors questioned Kevin Coe for about an hour and a half today, and they were able to point out several contradictions in statements he made today versus statements he made at his two trials 25 years ago. But Coe maintained that he has never raped anyone. Your Honor, the petitioner calls Kevin Coe as an adverse witness. Kevin Coe spoke in public for the first time in more than 20 years today. On June 17, 1979, did you rape two women at the Tiger's Den massage parlor in Spokane? Certainly not. His story remained the same, that he is not the South Hill rapist. After sitting here and listening to the evidence, is there any admission that you would care to make about any offense that you may have committed in the past? No. Coe testified today that in 1981 he even tried to catch the real rapist. Based on the Spokesman Review article, they said they thought that's what the rapist did, was rode buses and attacked uh, women coming off buses. So what did you do? Followed buses looking for anybody doing anything like that suspiciously, never saw anything, so quit doing it. Prosecutors argued Coe will likely rape again if released, but Coe assured the jury he is not a risk. Do you think that if you were released that you would be a risk to uh, women who are strangers to you? No. If you were released, would you engage in treatment? Sexual deviancy treatment? No. Why not? Because I don't believe I need that. What do you think your risk is to reoffend in the future? To offend? To, to offend in the future, yes. Zero. Coe also testified that if he were released, he'd likely move down to Las Vegas. He said he never had a job in prison because he was too busy working on his legal case. Now, Coe's attorneys did not question him because they plan to call him when they start their case in the next few days. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.